Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I would hit continue, but last time we hit continue, it wasn't even at the most recent save point. So now we're going to load the game. And we're going to go to Bort level 9. And then, welcome back to part... 4? Is this part 4 already? No, it's part 3. No, I don't think so, dude. Definitely part 4. I think this is part 3. It's definitely part 4. Pretty sure it's part 3. Okay, well I'm going to go over to my YouTube. Uh-huh. And I'm going to look and see, and it's going to show you, Michael, that we have, here's part three, here's part two, and here's part one. Dang it. So it looks like we're at part four, like I said. So let's resume. Look at these little cats. That's those, not a cat. Those th they're like space cats. Come on. What's, uh, what's our quests here? Passage to anywhere. Inform Dr. Wells you have a nav key. Okay. What about the companion quest? The Empty Man. Vicar Max believes the book you retrieved from an Emerald Veil vale holds the key to his enlightenment. He has requested your help in tracking down someone who can decipher its context. We gotta go for the French dude. You wanna do that? Yeah. See, that's funny because you were like, I don't wanna do the side quest. Let's just do the well, main quest. Well, the companion quests are different. Those are like kind of special. Are they? Yeah. Plus, you need to get bro man in your party. Huh? As you were. I guess spacer is not his name. It's just what he is. He's a spacer. You know what I'm saying? No. I hate you. Do you want to go that way? I think so. Yeah, I did. Nailed it. Uh, this way. But you gotta get him in your party. I can get him on my party from the from the un unreliable. Is that what's called? Yeah. Also, there's something like right around here. A music box. What's this? There's a random quest cartridge right here. Oh, you have found an ID cartridge used with the holographic shroud. You will now be automatically disguised when entering the associated restricted area. Interesting. Get your bro first. It's not even on here, right? But it seems weird to not have him in the party if something happens with the dialogue stuff. <sighs> I thought we were traveling somewhere else, so I was going to wait till we did that so I could just get him when I was on the ship. No, we're not. Okay, that's that's the there's the discrepancy then. Hey Mike B, what day is it? God. It um. is Wednesday, my dudes. It is mutual, my dudes. <laughs> I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Felix and who? My dad. Felix and who? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> God damn. You can do this all you want. Parvati is what oh, we're looking for okay. here, you friggin'. How do I. Oh, can I just leave here? Yeah, you just leave and oh, then that's I'll let good. you just, like, that's party. Easy. I was like, let me find him on the ship. You want some Slim and Shine diet toothpaste? Why would you need diet toothpaste? So you don't gain weight, stupid. You don't gain weight from toothpaste. You don't even need it. You spit it out. Maybe you don't. Heard from the last. You gonna get hungry? Just eat some toothpaste. It's Sometimes. like times. It's like gum, dude. Your holographic shroud is activated, giving you temporary access to the moving and derains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, person will see and interrogate you. Talk your way out of interrogation to reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk you out the more you're interrogated. You don't need to sneak. Keep quiet. But it's our bar lowers, so I wanted to, like the slower I go, I think the slower it. Move along, carry on. Hey. 
What am I doing? What's our goal? Going to the place. No, now you're wasting movement. But it's like behind the terminal. Okay. All right, I think I have to get through here. <laughs> That's clever. There it is. Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. Eject docking records data cartridge. How about that? Yep, that's the one you want. This sounds shady. This guy talking to me? Oh, this is our party. <laughs> that's hilarious. I was like, who is this guy? What's he doing? Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit card he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Dang it. This seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. I hate knowing that this is here and I can't do it. Why can't we? Because we don't have the skill. We don't have perception one, I guess. Oh, no, one is the option. We don't have, we don't have enough perception, I guess. Hmm. I thought we had a pretty high perception. Our perception sucks, Michael. Does it? Uh, how do you find out? Summary? It's average. <laughs> but we can put some points in. Put, 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 put points. Uh, no, we can't. Yeah, we can. We have 10 points. Yeah, but perception isn't a thing you No, can not in perception. In. I no. just mean in general. Thank you. Boost Pudding, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Also, Irk, yeah, I've been enjoying the game a lot. I think Mike has too. What do you want to put this in? I don't know. Do you, do you really not know? Or do you just want to sing? I don't know. Huh. huh. I you summon stealth to get our lockpick at the 15. Maybe we put like some persuade sure. or lie. You don't even know, do you? No, I don't. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go put in handguns. No. I'll put one, 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 one. And let's go to perks. Do you want this fifty fifty percent from companion kills? It's only when they kill them, right? Right, but they've been killing them a lot, which is why. I even think sure. it's decent. Oh, we're in tier two now, boys. Track on the squad and rent to Dawson Fallbrook on Monarch. Take Max to visit Reginald Cheney and ask him about the band journal. Thank you. Uh, Bob the Sheep, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Plus five armor, plus ten range damage seems good. What do you think? I like the base health. Over the range damage? Increase the duration of your dialogue combat effects? What does that mean? Don't know. Anybody know what dialogue combat effects are? I don't know. Range damage seems fine. And then we got a Parvati upgrade. Parvati. Uh, plus five armor. Might as well just give her range damage too, right? Range damage on everybody? All around? Okay. Okay. Uh, I have very little to get out of here, so I'm just hoping I can go this way and... Oh, that was sweet. Alright, so now... Now we gotta get out of here. Yeah. 
And what are you gonna? I miss Fallout Radio though. You see, we had a conveyor pull in. I'm also playing this game right now, Josh. What's going on, buddy? No spoilers. Michael B. This just runs me Mr. House, right? The Monarch! A little bit. Remember that? Remember the Monarch? Oh, we got the Stellar Bay landing pad or the Warning Dangerous Cascadia landing pad. Which one? Is there one we're supposed to go to? It does not say. I'll take the not warning dangerous one, I think. You would. I don't know what I'm in for, buddy. I bet it's a shorter distance if you go to the... Go to the uh, unsafe one. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. Oh, how convenient. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. You sound like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Where should I start? A hotbed of political activity. Sounds like fun. Where should I start? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Watch Probably not stream worthy. You need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Wow, 24,000 experience? Jesus. Well, we didn't really do anything. Oh, inform Dr. Wells we've got a nap key. We did that. All right. I'll write him off. Right? All right, see you later. Let's see what I'll our see options are, lap. just in case. I'll answer any questions you have. Oh. <laughs> Best of luck. All right, then. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Probably not stream worthy, but if you're... An unusual wavelength oh is coming God. through Monarch's ether wave frequencies. The eternal is in us all. The OSI would have you believe that your place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. Oh. A man who works in the mines Hell of Caesar. Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for not but a few bits a night. This fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, his part in a grand plan? No, I say. Greatness is in everyone. Not just those so fortunate as to have been born into prosperity. That was unexpected and odd. <laughs> I agree. I was like, what's this guy talking about? What was that? Analyzing the subtextual ordering. I believe it was a type of sermon, Captain. Very zealous in origin. Okay, well, you ready to get rolling? Okay, probably not stream worthy, but if you're also into speech checking type RPGs, which I love, and a delightfully massive story with tons of content and amazing character depth, I can't recommend Disco Elysium enough. All right, let me write that down. I have never even heard of this. Nope. But now, I have it up on the on the internet, so. I have it up on the internet. You ever even been on the internet, you idiot? No. What's that? Knew it. What the fuck is the internet? <laughs> is that from something? Yes. Wait. What is that? Hold on. Oh god, what is that? Oh my god. And they go to the website? Like the poop Which one though? The poop review site where they review the movies? Which Jay and Silent Bob, though? Uh, Strikes Back, I think. Oh, dude, I love point-and-click adventure games. I download. I just downloaded two for my iPad. What the fuck's the internet? What the fuck is the internet? We are the click commanders. <laughs> That's the same one, right? 
Yeah, I think so. All right, where are we going here? Oh, right there. All right, so if I hit this, how does it not... Yep, that's what I was afraid of. All right, so I guess it calls it up. Is there a button on the thing? I didn't see one. There probably is. I like that you're like, you know, you're you're bad enough that they're... Wow, that's amazing. There probably was one and you just didn't even look. Look, I don't see one here. Right there. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that stuff. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. I think it takes me a while to process things, like to dis to, to distinguish between things in games like this. All right, I'm just gonna leave because you didn't do anything. You don't want to hear this conversation? Do you? Well, yeah. That's, that's I feel like you were rushing the other day, points. man. I don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? What? No. Whatever. I'm not here for chit chat. You seem surprised. Well, that is my ship on the landing pad right next to you. Should I say that? Yeah. I knew it. See, I made what you call a logical deduction. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Uh, takes more than a few gunships to scare me, or what are they doing out there? Number one. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Bort. Captain Bort. Oh, good. We got the real name or the fake name. I've heard this off discreetly, if you know what I mean. I don't have time for this. Hmm. I'm Captain Bort, bitch. Can I hit one? Nice. Well, there's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. I'd like to watch you guys play Settlers of Catan. Mike has to be tequila drunk, though. Wow. <laughs> Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? You're not what I expected to find in Monarch? I'm going to have to look around. I'm going to have a look around town. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. You're not what I expected to find on Monarch? Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our wall. Mostly. I'm gonna have a look around, buddy. Are you saying the board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. <laughs> wow. Ah, the nostalgic stench of home. Can't say I miss the day-to-day -day of living in Edgewater. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. I'm gonna have a look around. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Okay, of course. You literally wanted a quest point. That's true. That depends. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers toss ball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? I like that this game is 85% Fallout gameplay, 50% Borderlands humor. I also think it's Fallout humor as well. The hum like the, the dialogue is so fallout -y. it's wonderful. Sure, I can ask about your poster. Who's the Black Hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? It's fucked up. Don't say that to somebody. Actually, I've been in hibernation for decades. Oh, you're real funny. Guess I don't feel so bad for missing what goes on in the rest of Stellar Bay. Sure, I can ask about your post. Oh, this poster sounds pretty valuable. Ooh, never miss a chance to make a buck I here. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. Oh, okay. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. 
And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Sure, I'll ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. I bet I can miss her. I'll miss anything in this game. Ammo, enemies, switches, you name it. I can miss it. Is this Michonne? Yeah. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. Excuse me? Don't interrupt, it's rude. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every dam wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm Bort. Pleasure to meet you. Or Bort, are you always this drunk? I go with two. Really, it's so nice. Then go to three. Fine. Do whatever you All want. Right. If you think this is drunk, I gotta, uh, you need to get out more. Wow. Sit, partake, buy me a drink, and let's chat. I'll stay and chat, but you look like you've had enough. I'm told you can get me to an information broker. Sure, another round bartender. I'm, I'm gonna go with three. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass, wait. That ain't it. Brass rats? <laughs> let's let's talk business. Brass rats? I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Sure, what do you need? I'm going to fetch things. How much time do you need? I don't have an escort. Just tell me how to get... I don't need an escort. Just tell me how to get to Devil's Peak. What do you think? I don't know. Sure, what do you need? How it's... Standing. Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pill. They're very good. They're very I'm good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your Jesus. wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. One? You mean caffeinoid? That stuff's just a stimulant. Oh man, our medical's down too. And if I can't get a start our caffeine or something or other, start our caffeine something you don't even know what you're taking. I know they make me see straight for a little while. You gonna get me a dose of what? All right, I'll be back. Biscuits. Look at this guy. Please don't point that at me. Oh, I was actually literally just gonna say, it's funny because no one has responses when you point guns at them in this game. And then that guy just had a response, and I was like, oh. Hey, I thought we were doing the side quest. I, which one is this? That's the dispensary. I think we're on the main quest. Is it this one? Wow. <laughs> well, that's convenient. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. Oh, there's also the Celia, the right? Others, Isn't she the one we have to talk to about the base, the poster? Uh -huh. I guess we might as well talk to her real quick. Might as well, I guess. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. God, I love Saltuna. What can I do for you today? What up, Haji boy? Um, what was that exchange about? You having money trouble? Grim asked me to check about his toss ball poster, or I'm just looking around. It's definitely not that. Definitely two. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. This guy. 
Earlier, we're here to say you're out of money trouble? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self and busted it even worse and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking Jeez. your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with that. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on erupted on acid. Wow, what, do you, what does that even mean? Is she a junkie? Do you normally blow your money on wrapped it on parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why are you buying so much from Sebastian? If you've got that many bits to spend, then I've got some trash to sell you. <laughs> what do you think? One. One. So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. A squish? He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Maybe I can just talk to him for you. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia, and she seemed... Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. <laughs> Yikes. I'd better get back to work. That's what you do. Wait, I'm curious. What do you see in Sebastian? That's interesting. He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. You only want to be with somebody you can't talk to? There are other fish in the sea. That's like, just give it up right now. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. That's all I need to know. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. See you later, bye. All right. All these noises make me feel like they're droids here. Wrap musk and canid eyes right here. Please, will someone help me? My boy's in trouble. <sighs> nope. Wow, that's fucked up. Pretend like you didn't hear it. What? Pretend, Pretend like, you, didn't like you didn't hear it. Wow. Mike, how do you uh, how do you sleep now when you could help these people when when you didn't? Well, I just, just pretend fine. I didn't hear it. Don't do that. No, I'm just getting up here so I can take a gander out. Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. Is it? You reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. I don't know what gun this is again. That's an assault rifle. Your best weapon is your pistol. Which is sad. Why is that sad? I don't know, because I feel like I should get, like, a stronger gun. This is a strong gun. I want a stronger gun than the strong gun. Don't get close to it, man. Here we go. I did it again. Is that like residual acid? Yeah, it's just acid damage. Sneaking here seems really weird. What? Are you sneaking? You say, why am I sneaking? Yeah. Oh, fudge. Oh, God. I think it, I think it can run faster than I can. Nope, you just jumped off. Nope. Oh. Yep. <laughs> just jumped off close. I was trying to do a sweet move. I was trying to do a, ga a pro gamer move.
All right, let's go. Let's go a little. <laughs> the world will look up and shout, "Save us!" And I'll pretend not to not hear them. <laughs> Alright, so what do we got here? 238, 114, 215, 156. I guess your assault rifle's the best. Yeah, but if you kill the small ones, then you don't have to deal with them. Come on. Is it dead? I literally don't know when they're dead. Jesus. Can this stop? Oh, Raptophobia. Uh, your effects are negative one dexterity, negative one perception, negative one temperament. You get one per No. Does this ever stop? Jesus. All right, I get it. My mom is still working off that residual ass from the 70s. I don't know what the difference is. You seem to be dropping more frames than usual. Uh, it literally dropped zero frames, so. It might be on your end, maybe because you're streaming and playing. I don't know if that's a thing. But we've, like, I have in OBS it says zero frames dropped. Literal zero, which is actually lower than usual. We got here a bypass shunt. Some bits. Look at this fat safe. Heavy grade face mask. Ooh. I got a necklace. I got a pearl necklace. You know that song by like? No. Oh, do you really not know pearl necklace? Nope. Huh. That's something. It's not a very appropriate song. Why? Because it's about a pearl necklace. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we know. We know what's happening right now. Okay. Oh, it's ZZ Top? Is it a ZZ Top song? Yeah, it's definitely ZZ Top. Wait, it's a real song? Yeah, you didn't know about Pearl Necklace by ZZ no, Top? No, I've never heard that song. That's funny. What was I going to do? I was going to do something. I forgot it was. I don't know, man. You got oh, me. Oh, uh, um, is that where we're going? Uh huh. Jesus, that dude's a ways away. Take the high road. You want? You want to take the high ground? Mm hmm. I'll blast him. Keep an eye on my upper map to let me. No, all right. Want to try me? That's really obnoxious. I almost want to let them kill them just because they get the XP bonus. Right? Kill him. Yeah, get that bonus. Like I was saying, keep an eye on that upper bar to make sure we're not getting snuck up on. Should I jump in there? Nope. Okay, it was not as bad as I thought, but I'm not going to waste my health on it.
Jesus. God, they're so dramatic. That's what you look like with the acid dripping off of you, I guess. It looks real weird. You hear that bubbling? I hear it. I can't believe you never heard Pearl Necklace by ZZ Top. Why don't you play it for me? Well, because we're playing this game. I'll play it for you after, for sure. Take the high road again, man. Well, I just wanted to make sure we can, you know, get there. You take the high road and I'll take the low road, Michael B. Huh? Huh? Oh, shit. Come out and play! Oh, god damn it. Here they come! I don't know who saw us. Oh, that dude's real powerful. Reload your gun. Are all my friends dead? Yeah. That's sad. You stupid idiot. It's really tricky where they're like, oh, you got me, I'm dead now. But then they're like, just kidding, I was just knocked over. You're dead. You're not? Now you are. What did that what was that? Dead eye assault ruffle? Oh. Easy switch. Oh, that looks like a sniper rifle to me. <laughs> Works like a sniper rifle too, my dudes. Did you see that? Did you see that that Guardian's overseer that we just got? It's definitely not that. I got- I one-shotted his brain. He had already been shooting him with your other gun, man. He was low on health. He could have been high on health. This gun would have taken him out. He could have been high... 198 damage down. per second, my dude. Which is less than the other gun. Oh, That is less. I don't know why I was such an easy... Are we should... Wait, why was that? Huh. Does it have, like, armor piercing or something? That's a good question. Uh, special effect execute. Post armor damage dealt plus 15. Is there a benefit to not reload your guns? I don't know. What do you mean? So this is armor piercing. So it's probably better. Also, it's got a zoom zoom. It's got this. Yeah, it's got that sight boy. What is this? The vermin. Hmm. It's better. Special effect is knockout. I feel like we're getting some sick guns now. Oh, you also got a new face mask. Just check that out. 11, no. 26, no, not even close. I guess that's everything here, I think. So we can just go keep going. On our way. Mm. 
What the shit are these death claws? Here we go. Nice one, Captain. This gun's OP, dude. Oh wow, you're right there. Their death, our survival. Got a little bit of bleed damage going. A little bit of bleed ba bleed damage? Uh huh. What does that even mean? You're bleeding. Bleed? Yeah. Pearl necklace damage? No. Nope. Look at this guy. He had a rough day. So we yeah. had some like better enemies, but we haven't run anything that was like, oh, I have to go away or this will kill me immediately yet. Um, I feel like we kind of did earlier. Yeah, you never found out though because you didn't engage with the gorilla things. No, I talk about like yesterday when I had to keep re retreating from the the mantis or the the raptodon, the mom, maybe. No, and then it kept getting its health back. Good. Or well, that was the big no, the big the big robot. robot. Yeah. Someone's destroyed the damned bridge. It's funny, I would I could accidentally kill this person, but here we go. Nice hit. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal over here. Whatever that thing is, it can take a lot of punishment. It's the queen. I wonder if I can still zoom and use this. Oh I can. Whoa! Good it lord. Over. Almost there. Mess with us. Got it. Alright, so how do we get over there? Gotta find a way down. I'm gonna F5 and see how far I can crawl across this thing. I found a way to cross. <laughs> Didn't work out. That was about as expected. Hey man, I saved. Okay. Nope. What happened here? Could have been worse. Whoever got to them may still be nearby. Strangely dressed marauder. What a strangely dressed marauder. Oh, I love all this weapon, this ammo, man. Huge caches of ammo give me such a such a RPG boner. My RPG boner is at full mast right now from all this ammo. That's cool, man. <laughs> Can you not talk about it though? Thanks. Hey, you gotta be proud of your boners. Broners? Your burners, yeah. Your burners? Yeah. Remember El Camino, man? What about it? God, that movie's fucking good. Yeah, I really want to good. watch it again. <sighs> Alright. We're gonna kill this bear? This is an elephant? What elephant? That's just a rock. Wow, I thought this was a thing. I thought this was literally a bad guy. Turns out it's just a mushroom. It could be a rock. A rock mushroom? Who's hitting me? Dead, man. Oh wow. That was nice. Oh no, I think she's alive still. Who? Oh, that one lady? Yeah, you just knocked her over. That's some bullshit. I don't think so. There's no one on my map there. You see, like, there's no red in this area. Unless you got really fast.
Yeah, reload, I dare you. Oh, great, I gotta reload too now. This gun's good. This gun is good. This feels like a revolver. I think it is. It feels like a revolver? That's because it is one, yeah. <laughs> that's that's because it holds six bullets and it's got a revolving chamber, that's why. Oh, that's a good point. Solid. Man. What? <sighs> I wish I could always have your wisdom. I mean, that's what I'm here for, right? For the... For the wisdom. For the pro tips. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. I've been doing pro gamer moves all night, bro. <laughs> have you? Remember when I fell off that thing? Yeah, man, that was definitely a pro gamer move. Remember that time I tried to jump around the bridge that secret way and then I ended up falling off it? That was good, yeah. Buddy, I don't even know what you'd do without me, man. Probably beat this game in half the time. <laughs> Someone on YouTube was like, yeah, you do really need Mike for these because he's got a lot of wisdom and you don't. And I was like, oh, damn, that's fucked up. They didn't say that you don't, Barb, it was implied. Take, it would actually take me more time to beat it because I do everything. Well, yeah, you're way more you're way more meticulous than I am about this game, again, games like this. Oh, we're getting there. Uh, but on the other hand, this way you get to experience the game without buying it. But in the future... I had a question that? about your plan, Mr. Vicker. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation, also known as the grand plan. Uh. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve Who verity. Who cares? Oh, um, uh, right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. Wow. Oh my god, who cares? For me, it's eight minutes, three hours. I was going by F.S. Frank Standard Time. There's only about seven minutes of Wednesday, my dudes. Oh yeah, it's probably eight minutes and like three hours left of Wednesday, actually. Oh look, regular people that. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. Where am I? What is this place? Guess it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch. Excepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Oh, okay. Uh, no. Man, oh man, it has been a blue moon since I had to break out the Hockemspiel. <clears throat> Allow me to paint a picture in your mind. A parcel of pure paradise nestled beneath a waterfall within a mountain. We've got activities of leisure. We got proclivities for vice. We got booze and bets and non-communal beds. Sublight owned and run. So what you know this, you're safe while you're strip? breaking the laws. Check in at the saloon to start spending your bits now. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. All right, talk about those amenities. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. Got him. Oh, well, this is certainly a town, I think. Hook em Spiel is my dentist's name. <laughs> No, it's not, you liar. Where are we going? We're going this way. What do you? What is oh, this? That guy looks sweet. Yeah, we're like, ooh, what do you got here? Is it, I can't tell if it's really purple or if it's just reflecting off of like. No, it's purple. All right, maybe. You're it might right. just be this lighting down here. Are you in here? No. Nope. Uh, how about in here? Yeah. This is Reginald's stuff, all right, but it looks like he's not home. Let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. Okay, I'll just steal this thing. I can't believe I'm stuck in this low forsaken, law forsaken town, but at least I think I may have finally found a spot with promise. Down the tunnel on the riverbank outside of town. Produced one nugget and two teeth. I wonder if I can find a dentist who'd pay something for the teeth. Wow, maybe it was your dentist. You don't know my dentist or my like? What is that? What does that mean? But you right. <laughs> God, I'm really good at this leveling up stuff. Yes, even scholars need to find 
ways to make ends meet in exile. Want to make a run with me to Stella Bay? Boss yeah. told me to take the night off. No. I feel like that's not going to get us there. No, thank God. What? Now you're just going to walk into that wall and be like, Oh well, I don't understand. Surprise we didn't get anywhere. How about here? You like here? No. Let's keep, uh, let's keep going. Let's go to the Down creek. by the river. Actually, I think this is the way you're supposed to go. What? Well, this is the way you're supposed to go. I do too. My keyboard is already broken. Smash that like. <laughs> you smash likes with your mouse. That's true, you do. I don't know anyone who liked with their keyboard. Look, I found Reginald Cheney. Like Dick Cheney, but different. What do you want? Wow. Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Yikes. This guy doesn't look like much of a scholar. Max, care to explain? Hey, what are you doing? Let's all calm down here. I'm not sure what's happening here, but I'm always up for a senseless violence. Please proceed. Hmm. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. <clears throat> I lied about finding a scholar. Wow. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Uh... Maybe he didn't know the book was in French. Why'd you lie to me? You're going to give up everything you've ever believed in just for revenge? What do you think? I like to. Yes. That's about the long and short of it. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severe. <coughs> wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. My dad. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Max, stop. It's not too late. Maybe the answer you've been looking for is in that book. Yeah. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. It's probably My mom. father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. There, that's sort of that. Weird hermit sounds kind of flimsy to me. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. What do you say, Vicar? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Level up, Mitch. Don't talk to me like that. You got a lot of points, though. <coughs> hmm. What was the one we needed earlier? Medical? Oh, yeah, let's get medical up. I'm just putting all 10 in this for now. I'll put seven. I'll put 8. Go put over 30. Ah, I'll put them all up to. Yeah, that's good. I don't care. Good, 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 good. Okay, the scholar turned out to be someone else entirely, an ex-con Max spent in prison, but through Reginald you were able to learn that the journal was originally the property of a philosophist who rusticates in a life of hermitage on Scylla. Scylla? That's Scylla. I think it's a whole different planet. It is. We have a million side quests here, though. Get her medicine from the dispensary, that was... There's so much to do in this game, it's really hard to just pick and choose what you're specifically doing, you know? That's on a different planet. Yeah, this is the one where the guy wanted to be an engineer. Um, this was where you gotta find her friend. Okay, those two are not close to us. Okay, we just have to help her with her pills. Get her, get her medicine from the dispensary, but also help her with her hangover. So isn't this the same? This yeah, it's the same thing. Interesting. Ask Parvati. 
What do you want to do? Let's get to the meds. I'm probably okay. fast probably. You can also hit X to change sort order, which is nice we to talk? sort by location. Oh. What? Oh, location region newest alphabetical quest type. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's so nice. I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. Cut the crap, Max. You lied to me about Cheney, and I want to know why. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. I understand. We all get a little obsessed sometimes. You're forgiven? Okay, but I'm watching you. You ever lie to me again or anything? You're out? I don't think so. You're not welcome on my crew anymore. Oh my god. I go with one. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. What was it like being Shut in prison? Shut up and take my money! Hey, what was it like being in prison? Oh, Cabal and just a little something to secure your vote for the 2020 election. Wow. <laughs> what does that even mean? Um... Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed this stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. Enjoying his lips. <laughs> were you were? Yeah, you were like circling him. Was I? I didn't even realize it. I was totally zoned out. Not like. Where? Why am I? There we go. Probably fast travel. Oh god, you're so fucking smart. This is why I keep you around. I just forget that it's an option sometimes. Are mm -hmm. we sure we don't do anything else here? Yeah. I don't think I can. Because so we're racing gotta go to regional. A, what? We gotta go to regional. I think we were, we have to leave though first, right? Let's find out. Where are we right now? We're here? So we no. wanna go here? Those are quest markers. Okay, you're right. So we wanna go here. Dang it, that was supposed to be that was supposed to be under my joke Reginald Cheney account, but I done messed up. <laughs> See that would have that would have yeah that would have been funnier. <laughs> That's a Dick Cheney Reginald Cheney reference there. There you go. I was like Cabal and your your vote. I don't get it. Are you running? And then what you explained it. And despite messing it up, it was still pretty funny. Yeah. We're here. How do I get this armor? Earth, going about our Kill him. Every time the punch clock peels, a worker earns his meals. What are you talking about? I really like there's just vendors on streets. All right, let's sell our junk. What do we have? We have 8247. Let's see what we have after the junk. Oh, nothing. <laughs> 8297. Uh, E is sell. We can get rid of the trip blade, the trip blade, the trip blade. Sawed off shotgun. How do I know if it's better than what I have? C. C only compares it to what we're, like, it compares oh. two things. Like, Let's... this would be the thing you compare now, you know? Oh, okay. <clears throat> assault rifle, assault rifle. There's two of those. Well, you can just check inventory. Let's get out of this. Oh, what's this one? An upgraded one? Okay. Um. Escape. Okay. So we have regular assault rifle. I probably want to keep one assault rifle. This one's great. 
Sawed off shotgun. Oh, okay. So tactical shotgun, 238, 173. Okay, not better. I do like that gun. I kind of just like having a variety of guns. Do you ever do that just to have different options? Not really. Okay. <laughs> no, I can't. Well, I think I'm, I'm probably more sentimental than you are. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this one because it's just worse than our, our other one. So a light machine gun, man. We never use that thing. <sighs> Goodbye, light machine gun. What? Where'd my stuff go? What happened? They went crazy. This is worse, right? Yeah. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> You gotta ride that thing. Now you gotta call it first. Oh, wait, we're on it. Never mind. Oh, this is our ship, though. Wait, I think you selected the wrong quest. Then. I think you're right. Oh, man. Okay, let's go back down. Ambitious. <laughs> that wouldn't hurt. Just stop it. You don't think falling off a roof would hurt? No, you ever fall off a roof? No. That's why I'm still alive. Maybe you haven't. Velma seem out of sorts to you? This ain't where you're supposed to be, man. It looked like it, though. If Velma's capable... Don't talk Velma. about Did Velma. Why, well, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, <laughs> I'd remember. That's what I call Michael. What can wow. I have Sweet cheeks! I've been asked to pick up a caffeinoid supplement. I have medical 25, so I'm uh, completely qualified. And what a yes. helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Who's your lucky friend, dearie? <clears throat> Actually, the pills are for me. <laughs> I bet if I say this, she's going to be like, oh no, she can't have any more. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Wow, well, I lied and I didn't even get a good result. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? You can't, you can't trust these people these days. Oh, that's just awful. You don't get five finger discounts, Auntie? What do you think? Uh, one or two. <laughs> Except for you. I can tell. You've got one of those faces. Is she hitting on me? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? I don't know, Auntie. I'll have to pry that secret from my sweet little cheeks. <laughs> I like that. Oh, man. Aren't you a saucy thing? Now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. Okay, take it easy. Uh-huh. Why don't you show me a thing or two? Or this got weird fast. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I'll leave it up to you on this one. <clears throat> Much as I'd love to, my rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and wow. I'm all out of my medicine. We're having a good time. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? It's for me. <sighs> Tell the truth, see what happens. I'm afraid she's going to be like, oh, I know that, that junkie bitch. Oh, her. I told you. It's none of my business, but I had told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. 
contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Uh, doesn't anyone else on Monarch have caffeinoid? There must be some way I can increase it. Well, I'm afraid not. I told you. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Terminal, you say? Access them. Oh, here we go. Enough sweet talk. Give me caffeine or you're going to need to taste your own medicine. I thought you were in charge around here, Auntie. You, you sure ought to be. I don't even want to read the other two. I don't know, man. Uh, huh. I mean, this is Intimidate 45. This is a high-level Intimidate, man. Okay. Well, this certainly isn't worth my good health. I'll get you a dose, but I'll have you know. I'm very disappointed in you. See, now she's disappointed in us, Frank. And good riddance. That's the last help you're getting from Abigail See? Edwards. See? God. Did you not want to do that one? It seemed rude. She's a nice old lady. Pick up her own Here we go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just murdered an old lady. Look, now I can get my stuff from her. All right, man, come on, load it up. <laughs> All right. We're just all having she, some fun, all man. You can go upstairs and totally unlock that door and steal stuff. Yeah, but, like, the dialogue's more... The interactions are, are my favorite part of games like this. I feel like I accomplished something, you know? Sounds like rat With words. Well, I murdered her, too. I did close the door and use the club, so no guards came, though. Wow. Wow, wow Hodge Gulashi, you murdered an old lady. I mean, we did too. What are you? How are you gonna judge? No, you did. I didn't do that. You were with no. It's, I, it's a t it's a two man no, job, I Michael. I did not. I did not advocate for that. I did not. <laughs> I did not hit her. She's I did a sweet not. Old lady. You're back. Good news. Bad news. All of the above. Oh my God! Is she just constantly drunk? So anyway, I started blasting. What's that from? That's hilarious. So anyways, I starts blasting. That's from, that's from something, it's right? It's from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Is it? Yeah. Just look up. All, so anyway, I started blasting. It's a good meme. Oh, it's Frank, isn't it? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, I've got your magic pills. These things are dangerous. Yeah. More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it here. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. I heard Mooch will tell you to snuff out Grandma Caffeinate. Yeah, see? <laughs> Not looking for company on the road. Just tell me how to reach the information broker. <laughs> All right, glad to have you. Great. God, Let's I never turned on companions. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. Oh, three dogs. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? Oh, God. That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Uh, Pavardi, wait on the ship. I'm gonna send Pavardi back because we need Vicar Max for the quest still, so. Sure. As long as you've got my back, I'll have yours. Welcome to the Unreliable Crew. That sounds terrible. She doesn't know the ship's name you is the like Unreliable. A you a traveling vicar? In a manner of speaking. Stella Bay had a vicar once. He took it upon himself to convince Graham's folk to come back to All the All he does is shoot people. Dennis Rodman he looks great. The city and Amber Heights <laughs> wow. Flight. Kept getting himself into all sorts of scrapes. Jesus. The day came when I found a book of his in the middle of a raft encampment. And still gripping it, too. The plan unfolds as the plan unfolds. To vicar and layman alike. Isn't she supposed to be a guide? I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other calls. Yeah, I'm going first. What do you mean? 
Uh -huh. Like, she should be guiding you. Yeah, she is. She put it on the map. Oh my god. Are we on the right quest? Yeah. Thoughts are having to leave here, man. Are you sure? Yeah, Radio Free Monarch. Speak to the broker at the top of the Hell's Peak. Okay. What's your problem, man? I need some juice. Juice? Or water. Yeah. Well, after this, give me another half an hour, and then after this, you can go oh get god. your Wawa. Oh, unless you just want a refill. Yeah, I just want water. Yeah, go ahead. It's not gonna, nothing's gonna, no story's gonna happen while I'm just running. Good old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of I'll walk slow for you. No, okay. The trick is not to breathe through your nose. White grape juice. <laughs> That's his favorite. Why do I know these things? Because you consume way too much content of mine. But I appreciate it. Oh, here we go. Did I just one-shot that dude? Wow, that's insane. I got got shrekt. Oh, excuse me. I feel like there's more guys here. I don't know where they went. I mean, bodies to, to loot, not necessarily to kill. I know there's nobody else alive, but... Nope, got you. Oh, well. Standard beat with the bits. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate you. Is there, are we going around? Is around going to get us there? Not really. It's like the real long way. I guess we can go to the blown bridge and then just work our way there. Rocket 69, rocket 69. Take a flight on my rocket 69. All right, take it easy. I don't think we can go through here. But maybe. <coughs> hey, have you added any more vids of this on YouTube? There's three, there's three parts on YouTube so far. Rocket 69, Rocket Michael B. White grape juice, wow. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, part three went up tonight. Part two went up on Monday. Just let us down from here. The humidity is really uncomfortable. Who would like to die first? Let's kill them. This gun is great. Does this make us complicit? He's got like a laser gallon gun. You can hear that dude screaming, Jesus. Everyone all right? Well, that guy's not all right. It's 
splash resistant, huh? Man, look at all this junk on the floor. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here, dude. It's like a gold mine. How come when you get a drink, you don't just fill your cup? I just, I would just fill this. How come you don't do that? Is that just a me thing? Am I just a weirdo? I'd rather just use a, a usable cup. But you already have this. It's not like you're this wasting. This holds more liquid. Okay. Uh. Hey, buddy. Why don't you use your weapon stiff? My what? Your weapon stiff. Here we go. My what? My rocket stick? Yeah. I don't know what that is. That guy's dead out of here. I know, because I shot him. Nope. I totally did. God, she's killing these guys. Overhauled power helmet? That sounds like it's got to be better, right? It's not. Let's see what it looks like, though. Oh, God. That looks like a toaster. Put your bread in my head. That's just Star Lord helmet, which I'm I'm here for. I love picking up all these Adrenos. Michael sixty nine, Michael sixty nine. What is this? Pick you up, pick up, knock you out bar. Oh wait, it's a knock you out bar, and I was telling me to pick it up. That's what it's doing. Is that purple munch? Purple berry liquor? That's the guy I just took stuff from, huh? And. What about you? You got anything? You got any sweet treats for me? Nope. If you don't have an interactable on a terminal. Any stim packs in the bathroom? There's always stim packs in bathrooms. That's a different game, Frag. Why don't you go into the thing, man? Where? That door over there. God, I feel like we're picking up so much ammo, it's unbelievable. <clears throat> Frog at 16. If we learn anything from this game, it's that scientists are slobs. That's fair. I'm, I'm done here. <sighs> Which way are we going here? That way. So how are we getting there? Go out here and then go this way? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Wow, that was really hard. Why even make us do that, right? Like, that's funny. Headshot. Nice hit. nice hit. Wow, this gun's great, dude. This gun's real strong. Up. Give me all your garbage. Give me all your Mike B's. Wow. That's what I call garbage. <laughs> That's my slang word for garbage, guys. <laughs> What's your favorite song from Fallout New Vegas? Or 4? Uh, probably... Bring the Reginald. Is that a real song? Yeah. Bring the Reginald? No, ring the Reginald. Ring? Yeah. Ring the Reginald? Are you being serious? Yeah, man. <laughs> it's like... Wait, how have I heard of Ring the Reginald? What does it sound like? Can you sing a few bars for me? <laughs> no. 
Sing a little Ring the Reginald for him, Michael. <laughs> ring the Reginald. Do, do, do. Ring the Reginald. Do. We got 10 points. What are we putting them in? Let's put it into speech stuff. Zyamaru, what's going on? Thank you for being, being in speech. Yeah, put them into all the speech stuff. How's that? Sure. I'm going to get these to 100, boy. Oh, we got that tier two? 65% movement penalty to accuracy. Uh, no. I think that means... Oh, it reduces the yeah. penalty to accuracy, so 65% le less penalty. Yeah. Oh, God, my back is so s stressful and hurt. Oh, God, it sounds so... It feels so bad. Oh, uh, yeah. 20% vendor buying price is not bad. MTG Fuzzy 2 Wuzzy. Thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Welcome back. You skipped over like a million, man. Go in order. I'm sorry. Why? I don't like doing that. I just like doing them randomly. Tactical time dilation meter when you kill an enemy. Ooh, that's pretty nice. 25% refill. 50% uh, science weapon damage. 25% movement speed during time. I, I don't want to move when I'm doing tactical time dilation, though. So, 20% extra headshot weak spot damage. That seems good. That does seem good. Uh, increase the range which all interactable objects around you highlight without you requiring to look directly at them. That's, that's a, this is like an ability that shouldn't be an ability because it just makes your game easier. But it is. Like, it's just good. Zaya, thanks for uh, enjoying the Eldraine drafts. Really appreciate that, buddy. 25% chance to reset a companion ability cooldown with each... That doesn't do anything for me. Like, you have to have, like, your, 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 your companion has to have a critical hit and then it, you only get one fourth of the critical hits that they get reset their ability and then they have to use it again like i don't know that seems like a lot has to like yeah i don't like that like you can't control the companion so you can't control when they use their ability uh 20 percent chance for you to come the other com wait chance to reset a companion ability cooldown when using the other companion's ability maybe you can use their abilities that doesn't make sense though right do you think enemy reduces the rating cooldown of a companion ability 15% health restored per kill. That seems real good. Uh, significantly reduce the weight of consumables. That doesn't seem great. Increase the carrying capacity button for your companions. Oh, when you have no companions in your party? No, I ain't. Thank you! Standard B. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, the lifesteal <laughs> ability seems great. The lifesteal? Yeah. Lifelink. Give us that lifelink. It's called Harvester. Oh, whatever. It's lifelink. Hmm. This seems insane. You don't know, like the 20% bonus to headshot weak spot damage? Because I feel like we're at a distance. I like that too, but... Because if you're fighting one better. big monster... I don't know. Well, it's either this or this. I, uh, this or this. I like the life steal. I'll do it. Stop saying steal. You're not taking the. What life. about your companions? Did she get any perks? Nyoki did. 30% base health, 30% threat generated, 30% less threat generated, and... Oh, increase our lie skill? Hmm. Mm hmm. Just go with the health. Okay, Michael. Oh, she got another one. What? Oh, wow. All right, we got 10% range damage. Seems, Seems good. good. She's already buff. 10% melee damage, 20%... Reduce how far the sun's offensive travel on Yoki's end party. 20%. Well, that's interesting. Shooty. Ranged? Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Okay. Yeah. Which way are we going? We're going... Map. We're going straight the way I'm facing here and... Curving to the left. Okay, so straight up here. Nope, you're going the wrong way. No. Curving to this left here. Does that not... Huh. Am I... No, I just keep going. I just got out of this gate here. Right? So, like... Oh, wait. No, you're right. <sighs> I hate you. I mean, I didn't want to have to kill these guys, but... Tell me, 
go. Here we go. He's got a lot of health. Well, it's, a, it's like a mega carnage, so. Can we talk? Really? Hey, I have a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And I could use the help. Well, I definitely don't plan on getting myself killed. Well, we'll see about that. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. I'm honored you're asking. I'm thrilled to accept. What can I do? What kind of danger are we talking about? I'll consider it, but we don't have time right now. All right, I'm honored you're asking. Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. Oh, 20 Viper Gunslinger bits. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. How do you know they're dead? Hey, man. I saw it happen. You do this weird thing where you Hell, put your drink in front of, of the fan. One of them was in my arms at the time. It's just convenient. His name was Hayes. I put over here, He's but I'm like having stop. to reach over you. I buried him I'm just saying it's weird to camera. put that in front of a fan. Who cares? I'll show you where he rests. Still feel the air. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to Barry. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion. That's where I'm bringing. Okay. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave <laughs> systems. Trouble is, a mannequin <laughs> kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Hey man, you ever want, you want, when you die, you want me to bury your medallions together? Yeah, man. We're gonna have to kill a Manta Queen? Oh, yes. I can't wait. People who get excited about murder creep me out. He's talking about one of those big creatures. Also, you definitely can't go the way you're thinking. That way? Yeah. Yeah, you might be right. How did you know? Use my intelligence. Well, at least you got something out of it. Michael Bees. Okay, this is where he came from. Do we have to be up there? How do we get? How do we get? I thought we could go down here and then come around here and then go here. I guess not. Why don't you fast travel here and then take this road? Because that seems so long, but you might be—I mean, like, might be the only way to do it. Which will be intelligence fifteen at least confirmed. <laughs> okay. So what if we go, is this the way I'm facing? No, you want to go to the left, right? Uh-huh. All right. on the other side of the bridge this right? if you need to drink. What? Well, this well, right? Yeah. Okay. We're halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. Sweet Michael B's bright bottle. Michael B's, they live in trees. You hiding? Here they come. Really? Well, that guy died. You guys got it under control? I almost have like no incentive to kill these guys myself. Like, 
I don't waste my own ammo if I let them handle it, and I also they get the 50% experience bonus if they if they kill them. So like, I feel like I'm actually disincentivized to kill them. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Everyone, all right? Still going the right way. Look northwest. That ain't it, but marauders sometimes camp inside the buildings there. Steer clear unless you fancy getting shot. Oh, like there? Westbound still. I'll let you know when we can start ascending. Look at these beauts. Oh, Manta Queen. That's your favorite, Michael. But we want to go this way, right? Yeah. Follow the purple brick road. Follow the purple brick road. That's from the Wizard of Oz. God, there's so many raiders. Shh. Get the big one there. Yeah. No. Here we go. Wow, that dude got fried. We're destined to die. I feel like this gun is OP. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's pretty good. What is this rehab? My you doing okay? What are you doing? I'm just reading the chat. Oh, okay. Got this rebuilt mining gear? Yeah, man. Go for it. I really want some gold gear. Where's what my... I mean? Like some unique gear. Oh. Ooh, what's that helmet? Oh. Okay, uh, hack plus five. This one has nothing. Cell value 19, cell value 16. It's just a better helmet. Put it on. This is armor type heavy. This is armor type medium. That's even better. It means it'll you'll be faster and more sneaky. Faster and more sneaky. They all just look like Star Lord. It's really weird. It's so weird that you can't do a third person view. I bet there's a way. I just don't know what it is. Uh, maps. Take a left. Is it? No. I'll just keep following this road. I call this Rotting River on account of all the dead things I've thrown in it over the years. It'll That's take you into up. the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. That's one option. Others the slope up. If you're up for some fun. See, they weren't messing with us, but I felt like they might have. Um, yeah, all right. Look at that cave. Is that where we're heading? It's literally the marker, so I think so. Let us let us do it, my dudes. Don't forget about her quest on the way. Oh, she wanted to do that first, didn't she? No. It's a companion quest. Starcross Troopers. Let's see if that's close. Fatter equals sneakier. As a fat person, can neither confirm nor deny. Wow. Um, I haven't given followers better gear because I haven't, I just haven't done it. Is it like a million miles away? Oh, God. She wanted to do it before we spoke to Hiram, right? Okay, that's, that's fine. We can, we can do this one. Is that what your mom looks like? What? Hmm? 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 Look how amazing this looks. Look up. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. 
First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. What's this, some bullshit? We got a fight on our hands. Oh god. There are a lot more than I thought there were. You did. Get back up, you asshole! Get up! I feel like I should probably just avoid this, I'll be honest with you. I don't think you can. Look oh, I can. Oh, that I makeshift can. bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. Don't Tunnel tell me here. what I can't do. Oh, I'll put the other quest on so you know where you're going. Is that not the one? What? Still, it's in the same place. Mutual. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. That's a big one. You can tip two around to the left or go in guns blazing. Up to you. I vote the latter. This might be tough. A cigarette lighter, a ring, and two necklaces. Man, that was a lot of garbage that you had in there. Looks like we made it. What up, birds? Slug birds? Incoming! Oh wow, you're you're really really. Don't mess with us. I was like being all nice to him. I was like, hey, cute birds, and then they just attack us. What's that bullshit? Am I going the right way? Just don't fall off. You're about to fall off. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, it's like behind us, right? Yeah, okay. There's like a sneaky little hideaway here. Those are definitely some zoo bats. Your mom was a zoo bat. Your father's a zoo bat. Your mom was an aqua bat. That's not even a thing. Hey, there's a zoo bat. And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Now let's see about the other thing. If we're close to that. Yeah, Probably not. Uh, it was over here-ish. 
Yeah, nice. yeah, you're right. That's closer. Get over here! There are marauders up ahead. Who said that? No idea. These aren't red. No, they're not enemies. Oh, this kid is a friend. How many? <sighs> this station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering. <sighs> we don't take kindly to marauders. Sure, I'm totally a marauder, yes indeed. Uh, no. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. Marauders are like useless. What are you doing up here, hunting marauders? I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. What are, you, what are you waiting for? Help me kill these marauders. How do I find the other C3s? Eh, yeah, who cares? Wow. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. All right, well, that is where we're supposed to go anyway, so. Oh, shit, those are all marauders. Can I just kill all these dudes? Uh-huh. I mean, I don't know I'm able to. I hate these things. Damn it! We're gonna die. What's hitting me? His gun. I think his gun's strong. His gun's strong. Oh, I think there's more dudes up there. Oh, hi. <laughs> Got him! Oh, he's not dead. You're really bad at that. I can't. Is there, is there an indicator that tells me they're dead? They turn blue. God, they're all the way up there doing their business, and I'm down here. Oh, she did. You know, for now. Check that. Guy. Nothing. The green gun was fucking up there. Whoa! Every time, dude. Is he dead this time, yeah, Michael? He did. Shit. They're all upstairs. How are they shooting at me? I guess from up here. Man, if I can get a bigger mag for this. There you go. I want to watch her come back to life. Corrosion damage received plus 25%.
That almost feels worth it. I don't know, man. I don't like it. You want to take any of these these no. points? Why be weaker? Because you get a perk point, which makes you stronger in other areas. Like you'd have a perk that's like twenty five percent flame resistance, you know. So it's like you're just trading one for another. But there's no perks that do twenty five percent flame resistance. Twenty percent. I mean, like fifty percent science weapon damage. Like no, that increases your weapon damage. Right. But my point is, like, it's just one stat for another, right? Like, like if there was a, an armor that said you get your twenty-five more resistance to corrosive damage, but your science armor damage is twenty fifty percent, you'd be like, oh, that's pretty good. Nah, I don't like it. Okay, corrosion, man. Corrosion damage is also good against armor, so that's really bad. Man, my armor probably sucks anyway. I don't know, man. It seems okay. No, I mean, by now, because of, the corro because of the durability, right? Like, I have to imagine my durability is hot shit. 36.6. Now you need to repair it. Why don't you repair it? Unless you can put on another armor. Oh god, there's like a million dudes in here, dude. Is he dead? Yeah. He's not blue. Why are you too far from him? I got a little book here. I can't take the book. These guys give a lot of ammo and it's nice. How you doing over there? Here's the elevator. Cool as a but ain't gonna peach. budge while this place is cool on lockdown. Peach. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Okay. That's where a fusion core would be if this is Fallout. You out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me, face the intercom. Okay. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Wow. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I need to see the information broker about... No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of oh, the Broker okay. being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that, aside from you. Why me? You're here. And you're armed, aren't you? The feed's gone grainy, but it looks like you're packing deadly force. I know Nioka is, for sure. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. Ooh. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Uh, what's in it for me, buddy? Aside from the bits I'll be paying you? Yes. You said you wanted something for me. Something information related. I'll give it to you. In person, once I'm safe. Too many. 
considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job. Permanently. Alright. Let's go do it. Where's the old elevator? Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. I feel like they always sneak on at the last minute. Yeah, that way, well, if they had him actually walk, it would like, you'd have to wait for him and it would suck. Oh, here we go. Yep, hit that railing. I wasn't actually oh, sure what it was. now yep Jesus I think it's just these two now get back up Shit. Marauders. It's time to quit. Marauders. My goody. Checking his phone. Gonna see who's calling Michael B. Is it his mother? Probably. Michael. I haven't received any calls, Frank. Michael, it's your mother. How come you never call me? Pick up the phone and just call me, Michael, every day. I want you to stop more than anything in this world. <laughs> no, you don't. I was checking my phone because I got paid. Your mom paid you? No, the, my job paid me. For, on behalf of your mom? It had nothing to do with my mom, Frank. Excuse me. God. So Want to try me? I saw some Marauder lookout and he just got shot in the brain without ever looking at anything. Oh, Down they go. 100% bats. Yeah, it's bats, but you don't have to like have a percentage chance. It's bats where you get more control. Hmm. <sighs> It's your boy. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service render. But Brenda Barbobly Boo is a I saint. I wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Oh, you remember Nebula from Avengers? I told you, I'm looking for a certain information broker. You're not an easy man to reach broker. You know why I'm here. Can we continue our conversation from the intercom now? Uh, if you insist. As I was telling you before, I am the premier broker for all of Monarch. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, you keep winding that I clock. Be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. You said that in a way that was almost believable. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just 
it might take me a while this time. Save your excuses for someone who cares. Got him. Hey, I just hit Platinum with Grixis Adventures, just like three more wins. Nah, Josh, nice dude. Caring or not won't change the facts of the matter. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. There's a problem how? So we kick them off. You wanna do one? Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Can we cut them off from the inside of the station? Where in Stellar Bay, why Amber Heights? Tell me more about the MSI and the Iconoclasts. Four. Graham and his Iconoclasts believe anarchy is the way of life. Sanjar opposes it as he's taking strides to corporatize Sanjar. Stellar Bay. <laughs> Uh, where's Stellar Bay? My former partner, Sanjar, transmits from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Don't let him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. Can we cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. I'll talk some sense into them. You do that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it. Plus a vat of patience. Oh wow, look at that cup. You can see it right through it. Whoa, dude. You're an info broker? What's that? Is that a trick question? <laughs> because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. Oh, a freebie? We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcast. <laughs> Ask me what you will. Okay. What can you tell me about Phineas? Have you received any broadcasts from Earth? I'm curious about MSI and the Iconoclasts. We already asked that. Let's talk about the board. I like, I'm interested about the board. The Borg? The board. There are so many members. Do specify. Specify, Michael. Got any compromising information on the chairman? If you try to cite me on this, I will deny, deny, deny. Do you understand? What I am about to reveal is the sort of information oh, that shit. gets a body disappeared. Getting that deep info. MSI's ownership of Monarch is technically legal, but it would give MSI too much power on the board to grant them such status. So the chairman demonizes Monarch rather than welcome it back into the fold. Yeah, let's use our big brain. Exactly. But you didn't hear so much as a whisper of such from me. Okay. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. What can you tell me about Phineas? Not much, admittedly. Okay. You must know something. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. As far as what's between us, I mean. Outside of that, well, that's a raptodon of another color. All right, I'm listening. I do know this much. There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not convinced mm. as to the validity of these allegations considering the source, but I am also not unconvinced either. Okay. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. I get it, man. Any broadcast from Earth? What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it for the right price. That's enough gossip for now. How low you seemingly regard my trade. Sure. You know where to find me if you need me. All right, 
we're at two hours. I'm going to save it right here. We got a couple quests in the queue. And uh, thank you guys for watching part four. We are going to be back with part five next time. So be sure to uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. And you get notifications when they pop up. And they're going up every Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to check those days. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.